Assalamu alaikum and good morning all of you. I hope and pray that you all are in good health. Alhamdulillah, we are all again in front of each other, enjoying Ramadan, enjoying the day, enjoying the weather, enjoying our classes, enjoying the lectures. So um, that is super great. So um, we are right now in our science class. And in our science class, we are learning about plants. So remember, uh, we did about roots. Uh, we discussed about a lot of different kind of roots. We discussed about uh, different kind of uh, plants. Uh, so I also thought of um, discussing about uh, different kind of plants today. Remember, we did polar uh, animals. Uh, how uh, many like different kind of animals are in the polar regions? Like maybe there, if it's in the south or north up, or maybe in the south Antarctica. So there are like uh, different uh, biomes in different uh, continents and different countries. So the biome of these North and South, as you know, is the tundra biome because they, they are very cold areas and they are mostly covered with snow. So there are different kinds of animals um, over there. So uh, we discussed even in continents in Antarctica that there are like um, zero permanent residents and the weather is very cold and uh, there are like a couple of uh, living things, a couple of species over there. Uh, <clears throat> So, so today we are going to discuss about uh, the plants uh, over there because we will be learning about biomes even we have learned about oceans but we are going to learn even uh, biomes like different kind of biomes uh, which we have in the, the polar region as well and like uh, the different one uh, the deserts um, and the uh, rainforests and all. So uh, today I thought of like discussing uh, different kind of plants in polar region. So what do you think that in such a cold weather in, um, in a tundra biome, uh, do you think that plants grow in polar region? What do you think? So uh, we are going to discuss that and we will look at the different kind of uh, um, plants that have been grown in uh, the uh, tundra biome, right? So, uh, but the thing is that I'm going to ask you that, what do you think that can plants live in the polar regions? Or there are any plants in the polar regions? Because there are various people who went there. I have been, I have never been there. Maybe uh, some of you have been there, but it's very cold. So the, basically the polar regions are the areas that are surrounded, um, surrounding the north. As I told you, the top uh, position, the top uh, of the world map, as I showed you in the continents. And then the south, that is the below one, where the Antarctica is. So that covers all these. So these regions are freezing and they're always covered uh, with snow, as I told you. So despite that extreme uh, weather, the extreme conditions, uh, certain plants can be found in the polar region. Yes, there are some of the plants that we can find in the polar regions. So I am going to just um, want you to have a look at that. I'm going to just share with you. Um, where is my picture gone? Just a minute, I'm just going to show you. The, yes, it's here. Okay, so I hope you can see this picture. Yes, it's here, right? Now see, this is about continent Antarctica, like the uh, south portion of our world that is just down below. So they say that there are no trees or shrubs and only two species of flowering plant that is Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic uh, pearl wart. These are the two kind of plants that grow uh, in uh, this south region over here. So can you see this? This is called the um, uh, Antarctic, hair grass, yes. This is called the Antarctic hair grass, which is, which is grown in the south of uh, the polar region, right, which is called Antarctica. So um, 
so I'm just going to tell you that Antarctica region is in the North Hemisphere mm -hmm. and uh, sorry, Arctic region is in the North Hemisphere up and the Arctic is in the South Hemisphere. So this is these are the two plants which we can find in uh, Arctic, right, in mm -hmm. the South, in the lower portion of the world. So. Um, uh, the Arctic, uh, there are like some others uh, as well, uh, the uh, plants and flowers I'm going to show you, but the weather in Antarctica is harsher than, uh, uh, harsher and therefore it's not good for the plant life. So due to the extreme cold, less sunlight and the poor soil quality uh, it has. So Antarctica is only covered with um, mosses, leeches, and fungi. But um, here in the south region, uh, we have uh, this uh, these kind of plants, uh, which is uh, the Antarctic hair grass. And uh, then we have uh, this um, pearl. Uh, what do we call it? It is the pearl, yeah, I can, yes, pearl wart. Antarctican pearl wart, right? So I'm just going to show another picture of uh, the um, uh, this um, plant. So uh, the Antarctic hair grows uh, and can survive very cold conditions. They're like different type of uh, these grasses, and uh, even like freezing points, this grass can. Um, survive because you see they're in the stones over here. So this seems that this plant is very, very hard and it can even grow uh, into a very, very difficult condition when it's freezing, when it's very cold and there's uh, very less sunlight. And because of the less, less sunlight, the soil quality is also very, very poor, right? So these are the two plants which we can find in Antarctic. Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic pearl wart, right? So um, there are like a couple of others as well. Uh, Arctic poppy. Arctic poppy is uh, one of the most famous plant, the flower that grow in the North Pole, up very high up. So the plant can grow up to 12, uh, 25 centimeters. So I just want you to have a look at this beautiful flower and this, uh, uh, I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see this, right? See, beautiful little, little flowers. So they're not really huge, they're not big plants. They're uh, like different, the leaves are different, you see. They're small, small, thick leaves. And even then there are like beautiful flowers and this is called Arctic poppy. Right, this is Arctic poppy. And uh, as I told you that this can grow even to 25 centimeters. So just have a look at this. See, there are snow on the mountains. The weather is still cold, but you see there are less flowers, very less flowers, but uh, they can even grow. They are like thick stems, a little thick leaves beautiful, beautiful Arctic poppies. So these are the kind of uh, plants and flowers and they're very small. They don't grow very tall because as they tell you that the weather condition is very bad, it's freezing, it's, it, it has got very less sunlight and uh, the, the soil quality is also not good. But even then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made such beautiful, beautiful uh, flowers over here uh, for uh, the people around there if, they, if somebody goes there. So they can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made such a beautiful world and every, there's every place there are colors. So the Arctic poppy, is the flower which is uh, which has been grown in the north uh, pole, right? Then there are purple uh, flower. There's a purple pl a flower that is called purple saxifrag. That is a flowering plant found in the Arctic Circle, and each stem of the plant grows only one purple or lilac colored flower. So I'm just going to share that as well to you. Um, Yes, see, this is that purple, how beautiful it is, right? So you see, this is Arctic region, 
still snow. There's no green patch you can see because uh, the soil quality is not good and the weather is very, very harsh. So there is no green thing, but even then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has grown these flowers in the bad soil, even like it's so rocky and uh, not even green. So these purple uh, sexy frag um, uh, plants, the flowers, they grow over here, right? So we discussed about uh, the Arctic hair grass and Arctic pearlwort. Uh, the, both these flowering plants grow during summer uh, for a few weeks only, which I showed you before. So they, they are very, uh, they have like less uh, lifetime. So uh, this is also the purple uh, flower, which I showed you. So I'm going to share another flower with you. This is also the Arctic flower. Oh, so beautiful. See how beautiful are these colors? But they're very small. They don't grow very tall. They don't grow very high. And there's a very less green color over here. So they have like yellow shades. They have red shades. They've got purple shades. And the green is not even very, very green. If you look at, uh, when we looked at the grass, um, uh, the architect hair grass that was not even lush green as we see the grass over here in our houses. So these are the plants which we have seen uh, that uh, are grown in the polar region. We have discussed about this poppy uh, sea, uh, poppy flower, uh, the architect poppy, which is so beautiful. And this grows in summer. Uh, this also grows in summer. And uh, the um, uh, these one, the purple um, sexy frag that is also grown in summers. So these are the kind of different plants that are grown in the polar region. So that you should know that there are a couple of uh, species in animals that grow in the polar region. And there are a couple of species of plants that is even grow in the summers in the North Pole up and in the South Pole in Antarctica. So uh, this was a little information about the plants that grow in the polar region. You can even search on the Google, uh, uh, know a little more, look for a little more flowers so you can share it with us, right? So this was a science class in which we discussed about plants in the polar region, right? So we're going to see each other soon in the next class, inshallah. Till then, stay safe, be happy. There's a little reminder for you that, yes, Ramadan reminded as well that you are going to share and care for others. And the reminder for us that the teachers are doing such hard work in Ramadan as well, and they are making a lot of videos and lectures for you and all free. So we are only asking you for a small favor that you are going to, uh, subscribe the channel and you're going to give the videos a thumbs up and please do them share it with your friends as well right that's great so that's the only small favor we're asking for you so i hope you're going to do that so we're going to see each other in the next class till then stay safe be happy and be grateful for whatever you have so see you soon inshallah till then bye bye and allah Hafiz.